several ways of uh, escaping and dealing with whoever is grabbing you. Now the first action is, as you have seen already, the grip is there. A grip like this. How do you free yourself? But uh, don't bother too much. It is easy. As far as you know what to do. As simple as this. Just place your hand where the nerves are running. In between the top fist uh, arm and the under here. Place the two thumb down here. And place your two fingers up. And what you do is bend it. Can we see that? Mm, and you finish with that. But let's take it one more time. And if you want to know better, you ask him grabbing. He will tell you what he's feeling by that action. Now I take it again. Watch very carefully how it goes as if you don't want to do anything but you just grab here the two here and this one here then pin that's how it goes it's simple now okay the pr the first two process steps i was trying to show you the sequence how to go slow in a slow mode now let's take a quick action as it comes now he has grabbed the next thing is see that as quick as that you must to be very sharp to know hold it you must be very sharp and very keen to know where to place your hand immediately once you place it he might not understand why you're placing the hand because he doesn't know exactly what you're about to do once you place the hand that's it and you can apply anything to drop him if you want to because already here he can explain what is what is passing through. You can strike there or you can freak and strike here. It all depends on what you want. But the bottom line is you have done that by freeing yourself, by locking that wrist and the entire arm is feeling it. Okay, now let's see. Still on the same grip but another way of countering it. Now this time, he has grabbed. We go slowly again to explain how it goes. He can take, go down to the elbow, bend, and here, and then this. It's as simple as that. He come and come up again. Okay? He grabs. Go straight to the elbow, under it, here and then as if you're turning it but bending in you freeze it immediately take note when you take that action and he still tries to hold it firm he he's putting his wrist in danger because the wrist if you ask him what is feeling on the wrist he will tell you that the wrist is at the verge of dislocating now I'm not, I don't want to let him go. I'm the one holding him now. I want him to suffer. All right, then let me let him go. It's as simple as that. Okay? Okay, now let's take this the way it is. Just the action comes, you just go at once. There, and then, boom! It's as simple as that. That's no waste of time, just swift. All right? Okay. Now we're going to take that two. Let's take the same grab or grip and then another way of you know, escaping it. All right, this time you take your own elbow, sink into him, and then strike here. And when you strike here, you back. Bam! And you drop back. All right? Now watch the action again grabs sink into him all right sink into him and strike here and then down wow. as simple like that. okay now what effects does the, your elbow strike do to him that gives him or that makes him to to be at your mercy to be able to free his grip or his grab on you 
for your striking. That's a control strike. He understands what he's feeling. But if you have to go full deep, mm, sink in. And then, okay. Now let's take it one time and swift action on that. I get set. All right. I go. Let's go another action. Still the same way, but different counter this time around. Okay, now let's assume all this while you've been holding on a straight. Now bend in. Because I know some persons might think, okay, when you grab bending in, it's more hardened or firm than this. Okay, it's good. But now watch this. Ay! How does that go? It's very simple. Again. Place this hand here. See? Bend it in. This is just a support lock. As simple as that. Ay! No matter how strong a person is, he can't resist. Hold it. He can't resist this. If you do this with too much of a force, what happens? His arm will be in trouble. So you have to take it a bit gently. See that? There. Pass him down and finish him. Okay. All right. So let's give one more. We've given you on the same particular grip several. This should be about the fifth one. Ways for you to apply to escape and counter. So now still the same grip, not double hand, still single hand. We'll come to double hand sometime. But for today, let's deal strictly on single hand grab. Okay. Now. What are you expected to do here? Watch this. Turn in. Oh, sorry, that was a slip. I was trying to be careful. But let me be a little bit harsh. Now, you go one. That is it. Mm. All right. We go again. Now, how does the sequence go? Turn in. That's one. And while you're turning in, you're turning in like a circular motion with your hand waving in. One. See that? So it even goes down even without too much of a pressure. But the final thing is that you're locking here. Down. So you can finish with. Hey! Let's try. Okay, now let's do that <coughs> on the swift one. This is just a bonus, and we end with this swift one. Okay, all right. Now we go the swift one. I turn in at once. All right, viewers. Thank you so much for staying tuned to our videos. I know this is going to be very exciting, but I need you to we need you to keep watching and keep keeping or giving us your uh, leaving your comments for us to know exactly how you are feeling about our videos and whatever you want, whatever innovations you let us know, we will let you have them. Thank you for staying tuned to our videos. Keep watching. First timers, please always subscribe always do subscribe hit the bell and we'll be glad to have you as our subscribers thank you so much